Wow, thank God we won that. Thank God we won that game. That was an otherwise really frustrating game. So a penalty and an own goal helped us over the line today. Uh, despite the uh, equaliser from Newcastle, which shouldn't have happened anyway because, well, Jiru got punched in the face. Well, apparently there's play to the whistle, apparently. But anyway, uh, that could have easily been one of those games where we were able to get absolutely nothing despite our remarkable passing, despite our remarkable possession game, passing game. And then you just get an instance where the the opposite side end up getting a goal in the middle of the second half and then you're just chasing the game for the remainder of it. And well that's what it could have that's what could have happened in that game easily. But it was a completely different story. Uh well first half, let's talk about that for a for a few few minutes at least. Yeah, first half was really frustrating. Um it was all about possession with no reward. Um you know, we had players like Kovacic passing well. We had players like Hazard passing well. Jorginho passing well. Uh, Kante passing well. Morata even holding the ball up really well. I mean, we had we had players doing well. The problem was we were just not getting past Newcastle's defence. It was just a real, real solid defending by Newcastle in the first half. Um, and I feared the worst. Uh, as I said earlier... Um, we were going into a kind of game where we weren't able to get anything. Then midway in the second half, I was worrying about Newcastle getting a goal and then for the rest of the game, just chasing it. Uh, that's where the game was going. Uh, but about 20 minutes to go in the game, we get a penalty after Alonso got hacked down by Fabian Shaw from Newcastle. Hazard converting the penalty... We go 1-0 up. And then, well, I mean, like, I don't understand how Olivier Giroud can get elbowed in the face. Clearly, the referee not giving the fact that it's a foul and then playing the game on. There's this, this whole rule of playing to the whistle. But how can you allow Giroud to get elbowed in the face and allow that to just be a play on? And then suddenly, Newcastle are in. They get a cross in. Then Hosselu gets the ball in the back of the net. It's 1-1. And then thankfully... I, I, I keep saying thank goodness for Marcus Alonso quite a lot, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, Alonso striking the ball and then the known goal by DeAndre Yedlin. We needed that. I mean, I don't, I don't care the fact that it was a penalty in a known goal that got us over the line. But, you know, we need a win at Newcastle. And we haven't been able to do that in recent years. So we needed all the luck that we could get. So, three wins, eight goals, three conceded. I mean, we're doing okay. We're doing great. Great start to the season. We're two points ahead of Manchester City. I know it's very, very early in the season, but, you know, you just got to enjoy what's what's reality at the moment. And that's two wins, well, two points at least, over Man City. The only other two teams that have got a perfect record are Liverpool and Watford. Watford beat Crystal Palace earlier in the day. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I don't care... Whether that was a scrappy game, whether it was a sort of game that we just couldn't get past Newcastle. I mean, credit to them. They were defend their defence was solid. But a win is a win, you know? I mean, I don't care how you do it. If you get three points at the end of it, I don't really give a damn. You know? Whether we were lucky with that own goal or not, whether we were lucky to get that penalty, I don't really care. It's all about, you know, getting the three points at the end of it. You know, we've got a perfect record. You know, it's a win over Newcastle. I'm happy. Um, there was one little problem. There was one little worry about that game entirely. Um, and that was Eden Hazard. Like, the very the very first minute he went down uh, clutching his calf. I think it was his either his calf or his hamstring. Uh, they said at the beginning of the game that he they were questioning whether or not to play him. And they interviewed him at the beginning of the game. And Hazard said that he was 200% fit. Now... I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're as confident as you are saying you're 200% fit, but are you going to prove that on the pitch? And he, well, he didn't last about a minute. Uh, and I was like, oh God, here we go. He's going to be, he's going to be out for a few, few months now. But he, he was able to get up and play for the, he played in full 90 minutes and credit to him. Uh, there, there was twice, twice he went down. 
worryingly with a with a with a muscle problem. But I, I'm glad that he was able to play out the rest of the game. But I was saying, you know, the the more times Hazard goes down, the more problematic it's going to be. And well, I was hoping that he would come off because well. I wouldn't risk I wouldn't have risked him for the entire game otherwise you know I'd rather just get him off and save him and well at least for the next game at least anyway than just risk him for the entire game and him getting an even worse injury and then have him ruled out for a majority of the season so you know credit to Hazard for playing for the full 90 minutes but I was hoping that he would come off at some point sorry decided to keep him on for the for the whole majority of the game um well he brought on Barkley for Kovacic and then he brought on uh, Willian for Pedro uh, and well I was hoping that uh, maybe Hazard would come off but here we here I am repeating myself again so <laughs> uh, yeah next game next game is against Bournemouth um, and we all know how magical that uh, last home game against Bournemouth was it was, it was a great game um, yeah we lost 3-0 uh, last time Bournemouth visited Stamford Bridge. So, well, let's just hope that that doesn't happen again. Uh, I mean, we're looking really good at the moment. We've got a, we've got three wins on the trot. We're looking okay. Sorry, Ball is still in the works, I feel. Uh, yeah, we do have possession, but we need to take our chances. Uh, we need to sort of penetrate defences more. I, I think the first half showed that Sorry, Ball is working. Like, the possession play is good, but we need to penetrate defences more. Um, and I think that showed today. Uh, we we just failed to put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, easily, easily, we could have just got an early goal and we could have, like, just sewn up the game. We could have let Newcastle just... Like, Newcastle's plan throughout that game was to stop us from getting a goal. Now, if we'd have got an early goal and we would have thawed those plans, Newcastle would have had to come out we would have been able to tie them out. We would have been able to get more, maybe two or three goals after that. But just couldn't take our chances. We couldn't penetrate early. And we just uh, we just made things difficult for ourselves. But like I said, a win is a win. We got a penalty. We got an own goal. We got three points. That's what matters, right? I mean, you know, the the, the elbow on Giroud uh, is kind of questionable because, you know, the, the, the referee could have stopped play. But I guess play to the whistle kind of counts, really. Cross in, Newcastle get the goal from the header. I mean, again, I mean, Kepper touched the ball, but he it, it, it just got unlucky, really. I mean, there's, you can't just judge Kepper on a few a few mishaps, you know. It was the same from uh, Mkhitaryan's goal last week, you know. Um, he got a touch from the ball, it just, he just got unlucky. You know, that that's the way it goes, unfortunately. But, you know, a win is a win, 2-1. Bournemouth, next game. Uh, let's hope that we get a win out of that. So, yes, three games, three wins, eight goals, eight, uh, three conceded. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you go and check out uh, the gaming channel, Chris Marder Games. There'll be a link in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, let me know what you thought of the game as well. And, uh, yes, we march on. Next game against Bournemouth. And, yes, until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, door. And peace.